Min pins are great dogs though. I actually have two myself. But if I'm being honest with you, there are a few things that they do that I find extremely annoying. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about five reasons that you actually shouldn't own a miniature pincher. Hey guys, welcome back to Min Pin Nation. My name is Nate. Thanks for being with us here today. So the first reason that we're gonna be talking about is Min Pins are not outside dogs. Now when I say not outside dogs, that means they're not really meant for extreme cold or extreme heat. Now don't get me wrong, on a nice summer day, my Blitz and Zoe, they will just spend all day outside laying out in the sun. And in fact, it's very difficult sometimes to get them to come back inside. But when it comes to the extreme heat, the extreme cold, they are not built for that. So that's partly due to them having a single coat and it's also part to just being a small dog. Um, they're not, they weren't built for that, they were never bred for that. Um, so if you do have a min pin and you live in that type of um, location that's gonna have um, the extreme cold especially, you definitely need to make sure that you are having all the outfits, the jackets or um, sweaters or shirt of some kind that's gonna keep them covered when they go outside. And definitely if you're looking for a dog that is able to stay outside either all the time or the majority of the time, especially when it comes to those extreme temp temperature changes, then a miniature pincher is not the dog for you. Next up on the list is we're gonna talk about Men pins are bed hogs. What do I mean by that? That means they love to hog the bed, the covers, the sheets, the pillows, anything that you're gonna have involved with you sleeping, and this could also include even if you're sleeping on the couch, they will find a way to take over and make it their own. I know that Sydney and I had this challenge way back when we got Blitz over 10 years ago, and from the very beginning, we allowed him to sleep in our bed, which I guess maybe that was our mistake, but he definitely claimed what was his, and regardless of how tiny he was, even as a puppy, he somehow made, made it where Sydney and I definitely had to uh, move and adjust our way around the bed. So definitely, if you're not ready for a bed hog or someone that's gonna take over that, uh, that part of uh, your life, then I would definitely um, not be getting a min pin for sure. Okay, number three on the list here now. Men pins love to bark. Now, depending on your definition of bark, it could be bark, it could be maybe a growl, or it could really be a yap. For a lot of men pins, because of their small nature, they tend to do a lot of yapping. Now, I know Zoe, she's definitely my yapper even more than Blitz. Um, it definitely, regardless of it's a, another dog, it's a, it's a cat, it's a squirrel, it is a kid, it is a stranger or a family friend or it's a leaf blowing down the street, your mint pin has the chance to go off on a little barking tirade. <laughs> now definitely there's things that you can do on helping to control that barking and we will be doing a future video covering all of that. But if you're not up to the, um, up to the opportunity, I will say, to work on that, or if you have an issue with uh, a dog barking to that magnitude, then definitely a min pin may not be the best dog for you to own. Hey guys, so if you're getting value out of this video today, do me a quick favor and um, go ahead and like the video down below and go ahead and subscribe as well and, and hit the notification bell. That will ensure that you get all our future videos, which we put out a brand new video each and every week. So on to our last couple of reasons here. So number four reason of not getting a men pin is the fact that they suffer from extreme separation anxiety at times. So this is something that, and it's, it's almost stems from being a good thing. Your men pin is going to be very loyal to you. They're going to want to be with you and all the time. And while that's a great quality to have, it also does come with the drawback of suffering from when you do leave that separation anxiety. So it is something that you can work on. There are things you can do and different men pins are gonna have different um, reactions, sometimes very negative on how they're going to deal with you leaving them. Um, so definitely that's not something that you're looking, um, looking forward to, I guess, on um, training or working with them on. I definitely wouldn't recommend getting a men pin due to their separation anxiety. Okay, so number five on the list, the last one here is, you know, 
Men pins, they suffer from the classic Napoleon complex. So what I mean by that is while men pins are small, you know, most of them weigh 12 to 14 pounds. They don't stand taller than, you know, 10 to 12 inches. In their minds, and this goes for every men pin in the world, they actually think that they are about eight feet tall and, you know, weigh about 300 pounds and they can take anyone at any place at any time. You know, they think they're bigger than any Doberman. They think they're faster than any cheetah and they think they're tougher than any pit bull or any other dog you can try to come up with. And they will definitely let you know about it. Kind of going back to the uh, barking and yapping we talked about earlier. So the challenge with this is at times they think they rule the roost. They think that they need to be in charge. And so if you have other dogs or if just with your obedience training with them, at times they can be a challenge. Now they definitely are trainable. They definitely um, can fall within the pack, but they will be the ones that will challenge your authority. So make sure if you're not up to having that authority challenge and having to really establish yourself as an alpha, especially early on, um, then a men pin may not just be the best dog for you. So if you're still with me here and you've decided, even with all the reasons we talked about not to get a men pin, like I said at the beginning, I love the men pin breed. That's why we created this whole channel. Um, but if you're ready to move on to get a men pin, we actually did a video all about owning a men, men pin and where you can buy your next men pin. So we'll link the video up right over here where we talk about just that, where to buy the next men pin for you. So go check out that video next and uh, we'll see you in the next video.